Welcome back to Dishonored, the Brigmore Witches. All right, um, it's been a little bit since I've played, so that's why I'm like, oh, let's get going. I'm rusty. <laughs> It'll be fine. Mm, so we just freed Lizzie Stride, which is the captain that we needed to get us to Brigmore Mansion. But now we need a boat. Looks like we're going for the Undyne. Yeah, Lizzie's second in command, Edgar Wakefield is running the old gang and won't hand over the ship without a fight. So deal with them and help Lizzie get her ship in working order. Are you too busy making dresses? No thanks. I think I'd rather just let you fight it out. <coughs> oh, look at that weapon they have. It's like a... I don't know what that'd be called, but it looks horrifying. Got a what? Love a pile of bodies. So fun. So we have Abigail's gift over there. We have a bunch of favors. Gift, hidden rune, and then something else that I guess is not on the map. Quiet in the city. Don't look Almost like it used to be. I heard he was a chief. Let me just a few. Get caught out when the dead eels come across the canal? No thanks. Every man for himself. Had her pride. I'm touched. What did we just learn? A former merchant from Draper's Ward's Better Days, Jerome now deals in black market and hard to find items from the safety of his apartment overlooking Millinery Canal.
One of them from my pile despawned. That's really sad. Ow. Like, can I get over here without being shocked by this thing? Oh, I need a key. Which is probably that key. Yep. Ow. Wow, it shocked me and they didn't notice. Oh, the thing takes time to recharge, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. <laughs> wow, none of that went well. <laughs> When's my last save? It might be the very beginning of the game. <laughs> no. I guess I just don't have to deal with these people over here. Like, why Why bother dealing with them? I guess maybe I should get rid of this one. Because they might come upon me while I'm trying to deal with the whole situation over there with the pylon. But other than that... Sleeping darts. Nice. Don't look Almost like it used to be. Rome's in the apartment up there. I heard he was a cheat. Let me just a few. Get caught out when the dead eels come across the canal? No thanks. Every man for himself. Had her pride. I'm touched. Pylon control box key! I didn't even think about using that ability until now. That's exactly where I wanted to put the body. Oh no. Fuck. I need to teleport here and not do... Not walk here. <sighs> they are probably about to see the body. Oops. Well, we're fine. Arc pylon. Be careful with this equipment. It's very delicate and requires a skill touch to operate. It's also quite lethal, so if you do not follow the proper procedures, you will cease to exist in the wink of an eye. Acquiring this technology took a great deal of politic... Uh, politicking and expense, so I repeat, do not be reckless with it. Once the system is set up and operational, we will never see a dead eel darkening our doorway. The mill will become an impregnable fortress. Report any technical issues to me. Nurse Trimble. That's this message from a, a nurse? Like a medical nurse? A password system. The hatters are getting organized. Got a secret password they used to gain entry to the textile mill that serves as their base. Trash bread. <laughs> Dumpster bread. What? Yeah, it 
Oh, there's so many people out in the streets. I admit, I'm stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was a hard part. But I have no idea how to open it. Hammers? Really? Look at that thing. You think hammers will break it open? Explosives. Sure. The sound brings everyone running. Then we gotta share. And what if it calls some eels, huh? There must be a way. Think what could be in there. You know what would be funny? If it wasn't locked. What? Of course it's locked. Look at it. You mean you haven't even tried it. What do you think I am? Stupid? Oh, they're talking about that safe right there, aren't they? Love those huge silent leaps. I think I might have to just slow down time and just zap these two. Uh, did I hit them or? You fight for shit. I, I guess they didn't get hit. I thought they got hit. Well, that works. That. <laughs> that does. Thanks. So it is actually locked. Flowers? What for? The rare oxrush flower is prized for its medicinal and alchemical properties. Oh, there's the key! I was thinking the key must be down here because they said they drug it up out of the water. Hundred coin. Oh my god, there's coins just hanging out everywhere. Minute amounts. Large river crust pearl. Oh, that's worth a good amount. Hello, friend. As instructed by your whalers, I have dredged this horrid thing up from the depths of the storm drains and placed it in the agreed-upon location in hopes that you, and only you, recover it. But be warned, poor, f poor fortune has followed me every step of the way since laying hands on this thing, and I am overjoyed at the prospect of leaving it here and being done with it. May it treat you better than it has me. And if some unlucky local has stumbled upon this wicked bone, heed these two warnings. As I have said above, poor fortune will find you. But more importantly, this is intended for delivery to the most dangerous man in the empire. If you're in possession of something he wants, you may count your remaining hours on one hand. I'm gonna save my runes in the hope of getting six and getting the next level of bend time.
key's got to be somewhere in here, right? Oh, I thought it would loot it off her body automatically. Dowd, accept this as a small token of my appreciation for the work we did together on Rothwild's place. My sources say that this is the sort of thing you would go out of your way to find. May it protect you, or empower you, or whatever these things do. I hope we find ourselves on the same side of a cause in the future. You are a great ally. Abigail Ames You move slightly faster while carrying corpses. Oh, that's good. Yeah, what can we toss out? Max mana, I mean, that's good. Ammo in greater amount, that's good. Having your weapons that doesn't slay you, that's very good. You move slightly faster while in stealth mode, fantastic. Drinking from fountains recharges health, that's good. Max health has been slightly increased. I think the drinking from fountains thing, I'm gonna get rid of that. Jerome's search for ox rush. Hello, Griff. I hope your business is doing well. If you're interested, I have a little business proposal for you. The canal here in Draper's Ward has been dry for some time now. Enough time for the prized ox rush to take bloom in the mud. None of the ruffians patrolling this area know how special the flower can be, so I have no competition in harvesting them. But none of the alchemists or natural philosophers that can use them frequent this district anymore. Perhaps I can send you some bunches of ox rush to peddle, for a commission of course, and I can help you tap into an ammunition market here in Draper's Ward. The gangs have gone into full-scale war, so demand is high. Let me know your thoughts, Jerome. Well, we have the ox rush, but I mean, what do we do with it? Like, that's Jerome. Did I have the ability to talk to them and I just kind of messed that up by making them unconscious? <laughs> Think I can talk to them? They don't look like they're in fighting shape. Is that oh my god. I guess. Damn it. <laughs> Keep breaking my legs. Stand doing what's got to be done, but Wakefield. Lizzie kept to a deal once she made it. She weren't no cheat. Exactly. After last night, I don't know who's going to buy from us. So they don't like the new leadership. They preferred Lizzie.
Um, I had the ability to talk to them as well, I realized, as I was strangling them, but if I started strangling them, I probably shouldn't stop, you know? Oops. A note from Lady Boyle. My dearest friend, my costume ball will require, will require three tailored outfits that are perfectly matching except for color. We're going to play a game with our guests, you see. I'm saddened to hear of your deteriorating hands and the hard times on which you have fallen, as you were my first choice to craft these costumes. I will mention your physical difficulties to my doctor at the party. Perhaps he can be of some service to you. Farewell, Waverly Boyle. Jesus, I will mention your physical difficulties to my doctor at the party. Gee, thanks. So I guess that's filling in a little backstory on how Lady Boyle made the costumes that, uh, I don't remember that much about it, but I remember there was a ball in the original Dishonored and like finding which one was actually Lady Boyle was quite difficult. So this is them setting up the pieces to make that happen. Oh god. I guess it's not that creepy. Just in case I need it, bend time. Oh yeah, I need it. Complaints from a dead eel guard. This post is awful. I almost broke my neck getting up here, and all day the Hatters keep taking shots at me like I'm some kind of carnival game. This morning I saw some lady up on the glass roof across the canal, and it kind of has me worried. I think she looked right at me. How'd she get up there? Are the Hatters recruiting ladies now? Anyway, since she's been up there, I can barely make out this thing she left behind. Can't tell what it is from here, but come nightfall I might just climb up there and have a look. Gotta be wary of that arc pylon they set up down there. If they have that kind of gear, we're just outmatched. I wish Lizzie was back. She'd get us out of this. So, something suspicious. Probably valuable left on one of the roofs around here. Okay. The History of Draper's Ward. This chapter will focus on the once lavish Draper's Ward. Before the reign of the Caldwin dynasty, the locale held none of the prestige that it has so recently enjoyed. Draper's Ward was once a simple manufacturing hub for fabrics and textiles, exporting raw weaves to all corners of the empire. Water-driven mills turned day and night to meet the needs of the rapidly expanding cloth industries. For decades, Draper's Ward supported a modest trade until key manufacturers began relocating factories to Circonos and Morley. The price of labor in these places was much lower, and the limited availability of Dunwall Riverfront property, which was required to turn the mills, made expansion of operations impossible. At the end of this period, declining production and abandoned factories created an opportunity for a new generation of skilled and ambitious industrialists. A loose confederation of clothing merchants included such... Uh, including such luminaries as Percy Oliver, Agatha Chesney, and Mortimer Hatt, established a new model of business. High-end clothing that was designed to appeal to Dunwall's elite sold at a substantial markup. The best sartorial designers from across the empire were lured to the boutiques of Draper's Ward, where they found themselves freed from the need to solicit patrons. In fact, they were elevated to high society, courted and pampered. 
the powerful and influential, began to frequent the new draper's ward, paying any cost to be seen in the latest styles. The district was wildly successful. Extravagant wealth and luxury among the proprietors and designers became the norm. But not all was glamour and fun. Reinventing Draper's Ward was an expensive project, and investigations into the sources of capital funding this revitalization often led to dead ends. It was commonly whispered that Mortimer Hatt had been a ruthless gang leader in his early years, and it was a very poor secret among the city watch that he still commanded a private army of hardened men that would protect his interests. A terrible truth emerged over time. While the designers and merchants held court in exclusive boutiques, the mills and factories that produced the clothing were houses of suffering and abuse. Despite the coin generated by their business, the workers who stitched the garments never took part in the flow of wealth. Instead, hats men enforced brutal working conditions on them. As this corruption intensified, with violence occasionally spilling out into the open streets, the well-to-do declined further invitations to shop at the boutiques. Business fell precipitously, and now with rumors of a plague looming on the horizon, the golden age of Draper's Ward may soon be at an end. That would explain why I see fabric all over the place. Textile industry. So what is the roof that they saw something left on? Oh, it's got to be the Corrupted Charm. I have to get there from down there on the other side and make my way up. Love how windy it sounds up there. Wait, does that not have collision? Or I, I can't tell. Oh no, it doesn't. Well, well. Somebody, give me a hand. Cry for Piss pot. <laughs> Come on, let's get this guy. Let's show him. Uh oh. I mean, messy, but worked out all right. The riverfront. So uh, that's another zone, but it's not like the place where we need to go for the quest, but where is that? I I guess I should go there once I've finished with this place. Oh my god, what happened to you? Jesus Christ.
Look out for the trained rat. Hey Jasper, one of the dead eels apparently trained some white rats to come to this side of the canal and fetch shiny objects back to him. So far they've taken a few coins and a couple of bullets back over into eel territory. Pike saw one carrying a coin and tried to shoot it, but his marksmanship is lacking. Be wary of them and crush the little things if you get the chance. If one swipes um, one of our tools or keys or something like that, you'll be a laughing stock. Trained rats! Oh my god. That's too cute. I know they're like literally plague rats, but that's way too cute. Benefit. While standing still, you cannot be seen by enemies unless they are in combat with you. Whoa. Penalty. Mana does not regenerate. That? Oh, wow. That's a really powerful effect. But mana not regenerating is really bad. I can't just have this equipped generally. I need my mana to regenerate. But maybe I'll equip that for certain situations? Maybe? Or maybe I'll forget about it? Ah, that's just back where the arc pylon is. So yeah, we need the password. And we apparently can't get it here, so I guess we gotta go to the riverfront. Whoop. 